The socioeconomic consequences of the COVID-19 pandemic have been unprecedented, with most economies in the Asia-Pacific region expecting a contraction in GDP along with a rise in job losses, poverty, and inequality. Expansionary fiscal stimulus packages for recovery have squeezed fiscal space and increased public debt. Can countries sustain the momentum on expansionary policies without adverse implications? How can they finance economic recovery for the 2030 Agenda? What policy tools and changes are needed to ensure that the economic recovery is inclusive, sustainable, and resilient? To respond to the pandemic, the United Nations Secretary General, the Prime Minister of Canada, and the Prime Minister of Jamaica convened world leaders international organizations, the private sector, and civil society to launch a collective response to tackle the COVID-19 emergency. Six global discussion groups have been set up in the following areas. External finance and remittances, jobs and inclusive growth, recovering better for sustainability, global liquidity and financial stability, debt vulnerability private sector creditors' engagement, and illicit financial flows. A regional conversation led by ESCAP aims to assess the policy options proposed by these discussion groups. ESCAP member states and thought leaders from the region will share their insights on the proposed policy options most suitable for the region's socio-economic responses to COVID-19. In cooperation with the member states, ESCAP remains committed to assist the region's efforts in achieving a resilient, sustainable, and inclusive recovery in Asia and the Pacific.